Hello, my name is Reverend Dr. Terry, Pastor Goodway. Terry Goodway, pastor right here at Kishkeel Baptist Church in Waco, Texas. Established 1969. Waco Baptist Church? Nah, not Waco Baptist Church. They're a bunch of sinners. All the other churches around here are sinners. You got to come to Rhapsody Baptist Church, guys. We're the only ones that know what God wants. Anyway, one day one of them cheering, well, just yesterday, the cheering in the church, and we got a lot of them. We do not practice birth control. Quite the opposite. We be fruitful and multiply. So if you want to be fruitful and multiply, with the women at Rhapsody Baptist Church every night in the backyard uh, by that good little lake that we got real private under the stars and all the sacramental wine would kid won't. Come on down and find Rhapsody Baptist Church. Ain't that sound great? Anyway, that's what it says in the book, doesn't it? Anyway, so well, yesterday I cheering. On them, Jeremy, we got a bunch of them. That you ain't got to worry about them. They they run wild. In fact, that's R W. It's in for run wild, and they're all named R W. Yes, they are. Uh, you know, it's just uh, I don't answer that. It, that's just what they call them. Uh, they're some, I don't know. There's a bunch of them. All the boys are named R W, and all the girls too. R W. Isn't that cool? I, it makes it easy for me. I see a child. I say, Hey, R W. It's just Hey, R W. Hey, anyway, one of them R.W. is a little one about there. Yeah, that, that one, that one with skinny hair and bad clothes. That's dirty, dirty. He, he, he looks fine to me, barefoot. He, who needs shoes around here? It's pretty. There ain't no stickers or nothing like that. There are snakes, but I handle that, if you know what I mean. I handle them. Okay, so <clears throat> Sharon, Sharon says, uh, Pastor, uh, Pastor, uh, what do you say? Ah, uh, from the mouths of babes. Yeah. When I think from the mouths of babes, I'm thinking about a different mouth and a different babe. But uh, what does that mean? My angel, render your voice unto the Lord. What? She goes more like what? Anyway, that's what I mean by from the mouths of babes. <laughs> I like babes with no taste, because no taste. That's what I like. But anyway, they, we got plenty of them too. It wraps in the Baptist Church in Waco, Texas, established 1969. Oh yeah, what that sure say? He said, uh, he said, Pastor, uh, tell me about uh, why is there a Satan? Why is there a devil? Who did that? Where did he come from? Why is he right here? I said, he's he's okay. He's, he comes around. We treat him like a stranger. He up the stranger. Well, Satan is a stranger. He sure has a cool dog. We like that dog, and we like Satan. He's a real good piano player. Uh, well, you know, you let him near that organ, he goes piano. You know that song, though. Back when he was in Georgia, I guess, he, he picked up that little ditty. I guess that deal didn't work out too good. I still want that golden fiddle. I'm working on that. We, we, we will get that golden fiddle. He will lay it to the ground at my feet. Anyway, uh, so here comes the little RW. Uh, one of the little RWs says, uh, Pastor, uh, why is there a devil? I said, well, Tell you what, uh, what happened was, it says it right there in the book, uh, uh, well, God uh, woke up one day and the, 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 uh, the earth was void. Uh, it was still upon the heavens and waters. And then it was just a big bunch of black stuff, and I guess old God is just floating around in the black. Like, woo, floating around. Kind of like that scene in Immortal Beloved. Y'all seen that movie? He's, there's God just kind of floating around in the black. And that just goes on for a while. And, you know, God, he's, a, he's just a guy like me. He's just, uh, one day goes, yeah, well, what the hell? I, what the hell? See, what the hell? There wasn't no hell. He just made it up one day. What the hell? He goes, what the hell does hell mean? I figured that out. Hey, I mean, God, he's one of those guys like me, just words just pop up. Makes them up all the time. What the hell? That's actually the first words he ever said. He goes, oh, what the hell? Hell, we're in it now, aren't we? <laughs> we're fixing that here at Rhapsody Baptist Church, Waco, Texas, founded in 1969 by some settlers from a faraway place. So anyway, what the hell? So I said, well, there it is. Guys float down in the cosmos. And he goes, you know what? I think it'd be fun to create a universe. He goes, bit bop, boo, fine. There's the universe. Oh, stars, things, planets, whatever. That sounds pretty good. We just look at the little lights in the sky. We really don't care. Hey, there's a light in the sky. Hey, yesterday something weird happened. Uh, well, it was predicted by the scientists. They're different with evil witch doctors. I heard uh, someone told me on the news going to be an eclipse. Isn't that an eclipse happened yesterday? 
I said, don't pay that never mind. That sounds like the devil's mischief. And I know the devil's mischief when I heard E. Cliff. Mother knew I was sitting here with my Cuban friend. Help the sick, help the weak, help the stranger. Well, I got one right here. Right? We call him. We call him uh, Mr. Cuba. So me and Mr. Cuba sitting here talking about the Bible. He never heard of it. He's from Cuba. They're, they're communist atheists. I said, yeah, well, go right ahead. But there's this weird book. And if you read this book, you'll be rich and successful. Or you don't read the book, go back to Cuba and eat your baby or something. He laughed at that one. So we were talking about that. And then all of a sudden, middle of the day, just 2 o'clock in the afternoon, well, I look outside and it's dark, dark, dark. And I said, what's that? He didn't know either. I thought it was going to rain. Uh, I didn't know that. It must be rain. So we ran outside. I said, oh, the rain. Uh, hey, if you're a farmer, you're happy when it rains. And I look up. There ain't no clouds. It's just a pretty day. I look up and there's the sun. Get old suns that are shining, shining, shining. Every day shining, shining. And there's that moon going, wow. Oh, no, it's an eclipse. I remember this one. Yeah, they told me about this in second grade before they kicked me out. What happens is, sun's here at the moon, and it just gets ordered. He goes, hey, son, I'm sick of you. And all of a sudden, it's dark upon the face of the earth, dark upon the face of the waters. It's just like I said in the book. I go, well, that's God just playing a joke. He's just a joking guy. Wow, so we sat down, and we sure started praying because no sun, no crops. Crops die. We all die. We all start to death. Not pretty sure. That's God's kind of funny. So, hey, I'm running the show runner. I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah, what's the thing about? So what it was was if you look at the book, well, God said, okay, I created you. Bang. Oh, that's pretty fun. Kind of boring. Uh, I need to make uh, like a little planet or I kind of look at it kind of like a, uh, like a, sort of like a soap opera. You know, it's good stuff, bad stuff. Oh, no, what's going to happen? It just kind of goes on. It's, Make a little soap opera. Uh, I need some angels. Boom, 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 all these angels. Okay, boys, run around. And then, oh yeah, man, I need a chief angel, the cool guy. Bam, he made the number one angel. He said, "Hello, angel. Uh, I'm gonna make you real bright. You're gonna be the angel of light." Bang. He was a shiny bright dude. And he goes, uh, "I'll let you pick your name. Uh, what's your name?" He goes, "Nah, my name is Satan." God said, "That's a pretty cool name, Satan. That's easy to remember." Yeah, but you can just call me the devil. And God says, "Yeah, if you're my, if you're my, if you're my son or one of my boys, you sure are devil." They had a good laugh at that. Ha ha! But God said, "You need a dog." Satan says, "Well, it's a dog. I watch this. Well, a dog. You watch. Bang! It's it's kind of a little fur thing. Hey, run around." And old Satan, he goes, "I, I like that." Here's a leash, dude. Satan, you get this dog. You run around this planet, you mess with everybody. Just go mess with everybody. I was like, I like that, yeah. We should miss them, see if they really love me or if they hate me or if they don't believe me. You go to everybody and you give them a little test. That's your job. They're going to hate you. They're going to fear you. Satan so goes, I like that. I like to be hated and feared. Me too. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Am I Satan? We'll never know. Got to come find out. Come on, take a look. Perhaps the Baptist Church, Waco, Texas. Can't miss it. So ask around. So, uh, Oh, yeah, kid, I'm sorry. You know me. I tend to tell my stories my way. I said, I'll raise to do it, both in South Texas and in Northern Mississippi. Guys, this is like me telling these stories just like this. So I honor their memory. I sure did, especially a man named Bill Kemp, famous truck driver of San Antonio, especially a man named Uncle Monkey, famous old storyteller. You can Mississippi out of Alabama. Uncle Monkey. Bill Camp. This is for you. And they're all for you, buddies. I know you're listening. I know where you are up there in the clouds going, hey man, y'all probably got together really talking it up. I can't wait to get up there, guys. I'm just I'm trying to do it. Back to the story. Okay, so I said, boy, here it is. Uh, well, God created the heaven and the earth in six days, then he took off and took a day off and just I don't know, probably sat in his backyard and did some wacky weed, you know. Well, <clears throat> problem was kind of boring, you know. Run around, okay, plant, plants, animals, trees. That went on for a couple, pretty good while. Because, you know what, I'm going to create a man and a woman, kind of run around and make more babies, and that's my soap opera, because all the angels were all getting bored. Oh, so bang, presto bang, out a man and woman, garden of Eden. This and that said, two things said, Hey, Adam, go around and name everything. Okay, so I name you a dummy unless you get here. That's it. 
You're here, you're smart, you're out there, you're a dummy. That's it. Only two kinds of people. There's Rad Baptist Church, and there's a bunch of dummies, and that is a fact. Number two, name everything. Number two, he said, uh, be fruitful and multiply. Well, it started with two. Now we got seven billion. I'd say we're doing a pretty good job. Uh, Satan, his job is to run around and mess with everybody, see if they really love God and just do what I say. Then I just did my other son down there, Jesus. He said, do what I say. Apparently, as far as I can tell, in 2024, nobody's doing what they said. Uh, not anybody Christian. Here at Rapsis of Rapsis Church, that's all I do is what that Jesus said to do. So, in sum, number one, uh, go have some fun, man. That's how you be fruitful and multiply. Get out and have some good, clean fun, hard as you can. Uh, number two, uh, well, feed the hungry. Uh, in America, we still got plenty of hungry people, plenty of hungry people around the world. I'll tell you how to do it. I'm doing it right now. Fix to make breakfast for a very hungry man. Serena, Mr. Cuba, he's hungry. Uh, number three, he helped us sit. Well, he didn't say anything about private insurance or qualify for this card or call them. They said, if you're sick, help them out. And number four, he said, make good friends with the stranger. And so, uh, you're talking about your uh, scary homeless drug dealer. Don't know what's up. Just walk up and say, hello, stranger. Let's be friends. Right, next thing you know, they're the top members of Rabbit Baptist Church. Happy to do it. All kinds of cool jobs. I don't care what their criminal record is, what's going on. Usually they got some like kids somewhere they're trying to pay for, uh, maybe help out their families, and that's how they do it. Mm -hmm. So, once again, what is the moral of the story? What is the moral of the story? I say go listen to some Bob Marley by yourself, dancing in the kitchen in the dark or with a loved one. Just listen to what old Bob Marley says. And at that moment, and then pop on some Barrington Levy. He's a good one. Oh, eat, yo, oh, unnamisense, unnamisense, unnamisense. Eat, unnamisense, unnamisense, unnamisense. Oh, ew, eat. This has been Reverend Dr. Pastor Terry Gidway out of Kishkill. Now, nah, well, uh, lately out of Kishkill, but now currently uh, taking care of Rapsy Baptist Church in Waco, Texas, since 1969. I'm real easy to find. Uh, get in touch with my my, uh, my, 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 my financial advisor. Uh, well, invest in my funds globally in weird places. His name is R. W. Rushing, and he's easy to find there in Austin, Texas. So until then, remember, the Lord don't wait.